I first started out. So I'm getting strong fast, and it's cool to see tell your, see yourself getting strong that fast, and I, you know, and, and record it and document it. Um, so I know that there was more I was going to say, but I can't think of it. Oh, like a whole working out in your house. I, I think working out in your house is really cool. Um, I mean, we'll always have gyms to work out, and gyms are, are great, but I don't like traveling. I, you know, I think it's a waste of time to commute. I'd rather just hang out in my room, especially people who work at home, and that's what I'm doing right now. So um, it's cool to, you know, you, you do one chore in your house, and then you get sick of that, or you do your work at your home, and then you get sick of that. So then you can do, like, a, a set for, for a couple of minutes, and then you go back to your set, because when you're in the gym, you you work out and then you take a break anyway but you know then you're just kind of twiddling your thumbs but if you're at home between sets you can do stuff at your home do the dishes or whatever so uh it's cool to work out at home and uh i have my whole system my whole all my gear in my in my room you know it's totally portable you can fit all the dumbbells under your bed if you have a small room you can put your bench use your bench as a chair or, you know bench you won't get in the way Everybody should have a pull-up bar. Houses should be built with pull-up bars. Um, they had this new pull-up bar they invented. I saw it on the uh, commercial called something pull-up bar. It's only like 30 bucks. And you can do all these different kind of pull-ups. If I'd known about that, I would have bought that. Um, but this pull-up bar is cool. Um, so anyways, um, it's great to have people like comment and say, good job, you know, maybe you should do this and you should do it. But like when people say you should do it with this form, it's like, I mean, I have like hundreds and hundreds of different exercises. So it's like, it's kind of, I think I have enough exercises, you know, so don't, I, I don't really gain anything from somebody saying, you know, hold yourself straighter or something like that. I mean, if somebody wanted to say you should do this exercise, it's completely different and completely new. Yeah, that'd be cool. Somebody, this guy strong one, two, three, five says, said that gave me the suggestion of doing exercise that actually lasts more than 10 minutes. And that's cool. You know, you don't have to keep them under 10 minutes just because it's the videos on YouTube can only be 10 minutes because you can just string videos together. So, uh, so like, like my next exercise, as soon as my stomach muscles get are okay again, like tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I will, uh, I'm going to see how many sit-ups, how, how long it'll take me to do a thousand sit-ups. That's a cool little exercise because because you sweat like a pig on these on these exercise up exercises. I was feeling the sweat just fall off my head, and it's great to sweat because you lose weight that way, and you know you breathe a little bit, so it's good for your cardiovascular system. And, um, so if anybody has any cool suggestions on new new exercises, I'd love to try that. If anybody wants to challenge me, I'd love that. If anybody wants to straight up attack me, whatever, I'll try to think of something funny to say. <laughs> um. So I also do a lot of stretching, but I don't obviously I don't film that. But I do film the uh, the yoga. Now let me talk a little bit about yoga because this is a kind of another new thing I'm doing. I call it like you know warrior yoga, super warrior hero yoga. Uh, my mom was a yoga instructor when I was before I was born, and she's like, ah, that's stupid. That's not. You don't hold a yoga pose as long as you can. That's that's against the principle. But she didn't explain it. So I think it's cool to hold a yoga pose as long as you can because basically what yoga is are isometric holds, and the longer you hold it, the more your muscles are going to burn. So. I mean, the first time I do, I did a lot of these like yoga exercises, my hands went numb. But you know, I don't think I did any permanent damage to my hands. I think it was actually a little bit good for my hands. You know, only you know if you're going to injure yourself. So, but I'm not going to injure myself doing a yoga pose. Um, so I'd like to, I'd love to see people hold yoga poses longer than me. I think it's great to mix isometric holds, stretching, which is also what yoga is, and uh, weightlifting because if you weightlift all the time. Or you do low reps all the time, you're gonna, you know, you're not gonna be flexible enough, and I don't want to have problems touching my arm, arms behind my arm, hands behind my arms, and but I don't want to be weak. I don't want to not be able to pick up a 200 ball, pound ball or something like that. Uh, so you know, I want to be well rounded. I want to do the high reps. I want to do the low reps. I want to do body weight. Body weights are really good to to know off the top of your head because uh, you know if you're ever bored hanging out waiting for somebody or whatever. You can just do it right there. You don't need any equipment. You just do your exercise right there. I mean, almost nobody does that. I certainly have never really done that, but maybe when I get older, I could and I will. And so, another cool thing about having all the exercises that I have is that uh, all these exercises on the top of my head. If I do them all the time, I've always got these exercises on the top of my head. I can think of something off the top of my head, so I can do it wherever I am, whenever I am. 
I've got all these ideas and I'll be able to just, oh, let's do this pose, let's do that pose, let's do this bodyweight exercise. And, and it's a fun way to hang out with people too. I love working out with other people. Uh, almost nobody wants to work out with me. Um, cause I guess all of my friends are just lazy and, um, people who do work out, I guess they don't like stoners. They like to, even though I'm not a stoner, but I talk about it. So I guess they want to like turn their back to you or I don't know. I'm just, maybe I'm just being paranoid, but, um, um, what else? Uh, yeah, it's a great way to socialize. I think weightlifting should be something that people do together. It's fun, you know. Go, 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 you can do it, you can beat me. Kind of like playing video games, you know. Like going at each other in Call of Duty. We'll go at each other lifting weights. Because a lot of people, like a little skinny weakling who can't bench 100 pounds, could, might be able to hold a sip, a whole, pull up longer. Because they only weigh 100 pounds. So, <laughs> you know. Uh, once I tried to do some kind of squat competition with my friend's girlfriend, who I thought was totally weak, and he blew me away. I was really drunk at the time, though, but uh, that was pretty interesting. That was pretty cool. I love getting beaten by girls. I love it. Um, so I think I covered all the bases. That's that's the mission statement for Kyle's Gym. Boo-ra! Boo-yakusha! So I'm going to get back to the workout. Let me get back to the workout.